Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of Are Elites in Halo 3 ODST actually friendly to you? So, this question actually came up in my Discord server quite recently, and at first I thought the answer was pretty obvious, but then the more I thought about it, the more interesting I thought it actually was, so I decided to check it out. So, during the mission uh, Teari Plaza, or actually pr pretty much multiple missions in ODST, including like Mombasa Streets, you may have noticed that there are a lot of dead elite bodies lying all over the map, all over the mission. And uh, I believe Buck even asks uh, Dare during the mission, like, what's with all the dead bodies, all the dead elites? And Dare tells him, like, it's classified or something. Well, lore-wise, you might have figured out that, you know, all, th all this happened, you know, between the events of Halo 2 and Halo 3. And during Halo 2, when the elites get betrayed by the Prophets and the Brutes, you know, obviously they uh, they were attacked on Earth, and you know they had a whole fight and everything, and that's why a lot of these elites are dead because a lot of them were probably from Proctor Regret's initial invasion force during the events of Halo 2, and they were pretty much slaughtered by the brutes. But are they actually still friendly to you in this game? If we could spawn them alive instead of dead, would they show up as friendlies or enemies? Because this game is technically still based off of Halo 3, and in Halo 3, elites were friendly, like their actual teams that they were on in the game files were considered friendly to Marines and humans and Master Chief. So would they still be friendly to you in this game? Well, to figure that out, we did a, actually a very simple mod. Instead of spawning all the elites dead, I spawned them alive instead and you know left everything else default i did get them plasma rifles as well because i thought it made them look cooler but that's the only change that i made uh, otherwise everything else about the elite is default including the teams that they spawn on all that so as you can see here elites in halo 3 odst are actually not friendly to you by default when you spawn them alive they are actually considered as enemies to you which is very interesting to me and not what I expected. I thought they would spawn as friendlies because the team they spawn on, th their team is called the Covenant and while the Brutes are called the Prophets, that's their team, which makes sense because you know the Brutes are loyal to the Prophet of Truth. But the Covenant team in Halo 3 was friendly to Marines and humans, but in this game it was changed and the Covenant team is actually not friendly to humans yet. So that was very peculiar and I did not expect that and wasn't quite sure why. But I do actually have a pretty interesting theory about that. But before I get into that theory, I do want to mention one more thing. So the elites, the Covenant team in this game, even though they're not friendly to you, they're actually also not friendly to the Prophets either. They are enemies to the Brutes, as well as all the other uh, Covenant characters or species or factions in this game as well. The Brutes will attack Elites. And just to uh, show you as well, Marines will also attack Elites as well. Pretty much everybody is against Elites in this game, if they could be spawned alive. Because actually Marines are on a different team than the player. Player has its own team and Marines have their own team, but you know they're all considered friendly to each other. So my theory about why the Elites are uh, considered enemies in this game is because this is still you know before the events of Halo 3 before the Arbiter came and before everybody was you know super friendly with each other this was pretty much shortly after uh, the mission New Mombasa in Halo 2 not you know not that far after and pretty much the elites at the time even though I, I guess they were already betrayed by the brutes at this point and the prophets they were not allied with the UNSC yet they were still, you know, officially they were still enemies of the UNSC. Now, according to Dare, she said it was like classified, which means, you know, maybe they were talking about a temporary alliance or something behind the scenes or something. But the word probably did not get out yet to all the Marines and elites that they're, they're friends yet. And, you know, as Buck, Buck didn't even know. So to Buck and to the Marines, it was classified and nobody knew that they were friendlies. So that's why they showed up as enemies. Kind of like how engineers showed up as enemies in this game even though they're you know you're supposed to save them and they're not really like enemies to you officially but that's my theory why and if that theory is actually true if that's actually correct then that's actually surprising that Bungie would actually it, that's really like attention to detail to make the elites enemies to you based on lore 
And it's really surprising they would do that because elites never spawn alive in this game. That the, the covenant team that elites are using in the game, nothing in, in the game actually uses that team as far as I'm aware. So that's attention detail to something that's never going to be seen by anybody without modding. So that's a. Uh, that's pretty cool on Bungie's part, actually, and you know, you've seen my previous videos, they put a lot of other cool attention to details in ODST that you would never ever, ever see as, you know, the player without modding. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That's the answer to whether elites are actually still friendly to you in ODST, and the answer is no, they are not. They are your enemies. If they could be spawned alive, of course, you know, by default. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in comments. If there's anything else for me to check out or look into, any questions you have or stuff coming to investigate, just let me know and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!